Hi DMsters! Welcome to day 2. Nakaredy na kami before 5 a.m. By 5.10 a.m., biyahin na kami papunta sa whale shark watching area. Hinatid kami ng service ng Vanjie's homestay. 5.15 a.m. pa lang dito and tignan nyo naman kung ganong kahaba na ang pila. Around this time, marami pa rin mga dumarating na turista. Well shark watching is until 12 noon lang kasi, kaya we have to make sure na makaabot sa pila at mabigyan ng number. They only allow specific number of tourists in a day. Same din sa mga bangkang nag assist for whale shark watching, meron lang rin silang specific numbers na pwedeng pumasok. Flying of drones, smoking, and vaping is not allowed. At this time, nakakuha na kami ng number which is 65, inihintayin na lang namin siyang tawagin dito sa TV for payment. And this is the orientation area. Away, leading to a shorter interaction. No flash photography because when sharks are sensitive to light. Third in swimming, please observe the four meter distance away from the whale shark and five meters if you're going to use flippers or swimming fins. But if you could see that the whale sharks are getting closer to you, don't panic. Just give them way and let them pass. They are harmless and please don't chase them. Lastly, applying up sunblock lotion or any kind of oils are not allowed because these products contain chemicals that can harm the whale shark. But if you apply that already, you may rinse it off to the shower area before going. Additional reminders, from here up to the interaction area, wearing of life vest is mandatory. But upon reaching there, if you are a good swimmer and can swim deeper, you can take off the life vest and leave it on the boat. Then from the boat, going down to the water, just enter slowly. Always remember, no touching of the whale shark, no flash photography, observe the distance away from the whale sharks, and no applying of sunblock or any kind of oils. Okay, that would be all. Thank you for listening and hope you will enjoy. At this time, ready na ang first batch ng mga mag-whale shark watching. Showing to you the whole vicinity of the whale shark watching area together with all the people waiting in line. At 6.08, tinawag na yung number namin for payment. 500 per head nga pala ang payment. So, 1,500 ang binayaran for the three of us. Meet Kuya Ronald. Siya yung aarkelahan naman ng motor papunta sa Tumalog Falls later. Since matagal pa naman yung number namin, nag-breakfast muna kami sa labas. Ganito nga pala yung itsura papasok dun sa area. Tinawag na yung number namin to line up to get our life vest and wait for our boat. Sakto lang rin kasi maliwanag na para kitang kita namin yung ilalim ng dagat. Apo, salamat po! Ito na, pasakay na kami ng bangka. Sakto nga, yung number ng bangka namin is 143. Each boat is given 30 minutes for whale shark watching. In our boat, may kasabay kaming two Koreans and isang solo traveler. So, pito kami lahat. At this point, excited na ako at medyo kinakabahan. Watch our row videos of us swimming with the whale sharks. Nung spotted na yung mga whale shark, isa-isa na kaming bumaba sa bangka. Nauna na nga si Kuya at grabe, surreal talaga na nakita mo up close and personal. Sa una nga natakot ako kasi malalaki talaga yung whale shark na nakita namin. At hindi lang isa, dalawa, kundi tatlo. At tignan nyo naman kung gano'ng ka-accommodating ang mga kuya. 
Grabe, oh. talagang tignan nyo kung paano ko itulak Grabe. at nirequest pa nilang tanggalin Grabe. yung life vest ko. Akala mo naman marunong lumangoy. <laughs> Struggle is real talaga. Oh, pwede, bailo mo, bailo. Okay. Ah. Kaya, wal to. Go, go, go. Kaya ko to. Ayos! At nagtanggal lang ako ng life jacket kahit hindi naman ako marunong lumangoy. Well, lulutang ka naman talaga because of the buoyancy of the salt water. O oh, ayan, si kuya naman. May mga nagpapakain sa kanila kaya lumalapit sila at pumupunta sa vicinity between those times. This is really one for the books experience for me. I hope that Oslo government will continue to take care of the whale shark and mapanitili ang kalinisan at kayusan ng lugar. The boatman also said that because of tourism, maraming nagkaroon ng trabaho dito sa Oslo. Marami ring schools and hospitals ang napatayo na dito. Thank you for watching. Bye!